What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are looking at something spectacular. And as you can see, we have this poster right over here, which I made it for basketball um, lovers. So guys, without wasting much time, let's get straight to the video. Okay, so as you can see, I have my screenshot right over here so that is what we are watching and i have this folder which contains all the work that i did to get this particular poster so let's quickly turn the visibility off of this one and open the folder okay so we will start with the background so to get the background is by default so this is the background I just unlock the padlock if you click on it it will unlock the padlock for you so that is the background so after getting the background what I did next was to insert this particular fog um, fog and smoke image here so after doing that, what I did next or what I added next was to add another fork to it which is this particular fork that we are seeing here. So after that, I added this, this black and white panel and I just added some colors which is the red and yellow to get a particular background. As you can see there is a, there is, there are yellow Alex in the background combined with the clouds and the smokes. So after that balance and white color, what I did next was to add color lookup to the poster. So to add color lookup to the poster, what you have to do is to go to the adjustment panel, search for color look and select the one that you like and after that click OK and you are going to go okay so after the color lookup I brought in my I brought in um, this color and uh, hue and saturation as you can see my hue is at um, red and the saturation is at 29 and the lightning is at 0 the hue too is at 0 so that's it for the hue that I created. After that, what I did next was to add vibrance to my work. So as you can see, I turned the vibrance to 100%. The saturation is at zero and that's it. So the next thing I added was to add this particular subject which is right over here i imported this particular subject into my into my poster so as you can see this is the main subject so as the control z to undo that so after my subject what i added next was um and subject which is this man or this handsome man so after adding this old handsome man over here holding a basketball what i added was to add some smart filters to it so i decided to use motion blur so where to get motion blur is for you to go to filter go to blur select blur but select motion blur so as you can see this is my motion blur for this particular gentleman so after that i click on ok and I'm good to go so what i added next after the this motion um, So what I added next after the motion layer was to click, I created a new layer and um, I added this white 
sharpening shapes inside. It's a brush, so I went to my brush panel. As you can see, I have a lot of brush. I chose this particular brush. Okay, so this is the color to white. So yes, this is what I did. That after painting with that, I extended it a little bit. It's the exact amount that I need. So then it for the white rays. So the next thing was to add this gentleman again. So as you can see, the first one was motion black, and the second one was the original picture of this gentleman. So I added some effects to it. As you can see, I added some effects to it. So let's go to the effect panel. And um, as you can see, we have inner shadow stick. We have outer blue thick and we have draw shadow thick. So with the inner shadow, this is what I have, which the blending mode is at color doggy. The opacity is at 92, the angle is at 12, the size is at 128, and the tilt is at 2%. So the size is at 128 pixels, distance is at, is at 0 pixels. So when you are done, move on to the outer glue, which the blending mode is at linear doggy add. The opacity is at 55, the noise is at 0, and the size is at 38, the spread is at 0, and that's it. So I didn't change anything here. So when you are done, let's move to the drop shadow. So the drop shadow, you have the blending mode to be lighter color the opacity is 96 percent the angle is 12 degrees and distance is at zero pixels the spread is at zero percent and the size is at 250 pixels so when you're done click on ok so that is it for the effects of this particular handsome and gentle one or gentle man okay so our next thing was to add um, color balance to our image. So let me activate the color balance. Correct. So to get color balance, all, all you need to do is to go to adjustment and select the and select color balance right under the adjustment panel. So this is what you will get. Okay. So this is our own design, it's at plus 38, the magenta is at 0, the yellow to be is at 0. Okay, so after the color balance, next thing was the test. This particular test that you can see here. So this is what I did. And um, after that, I added, I imported this vintage background image to take over this particular thing so let me on um, it and you see so i imported this particular background for that particular for that particular test and i kept i created keeping mask for this particular um test so after that i added some effects to it I added some effects to it, which is the drop shadow. So, as you can see, the distance is at 71 pixels, the spread is at 19%, and the size is at 51 pixels. The opacity uh, is at 100%, and that's it. So, okay. Let me come back here and explain certain things for you guys. So what I did what I did here where the fog is as you can see the, with this fog the blending mode is at vivid light so let us set it back to normal for you to see something so with the normal thing what it looks like 
so I decided to change it to midnight. So that's it for the fog. So yes, for the first two, I changed the blending mode to hard light. So this is it. The blending mode in its normal state is this. This is how the test will look like and I change it to hard light so that it will look a little bit brownish and not light or deep brown and not light brown. So after that I added the drop shadow and I move on to the second test which is this particular one over here. So I added this effect to it which is the same drop shadow effect. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go and sus please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like all my videos, and make sure you share them, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And yes guys, don't forget to go to the description or visit the description box to get all the resources, files, or images I use in this poster work. So next thing is to add this vintage background to our 23 test. So this is our 23 test. As you can see, I added some drop shadow to it and um, effects to it. And I added this vintage um, test. So as you can see, the blending mode for the 23 is at vivid light so the next thing is to add some border shadows to this particular way so as you can see this black black but uh, the black black border uh, borders or shadows around the poster is this particular one so for you to create that you don't necessarily need a brush to create that what you have to do is to use the ingredient to to and select the color okay so let's say i'm using white right now so just stand here and extend it just click on this piece and release it and just click on another piece and release it so that is it for the gradient marking so after that i added this nice and beautiful test to my basketball poster and um, I added this very beautiful poster and test which is the basketball on top here so that it will look really nice and uh, amazing so guys if you are if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like all my videos, and share them all my videos. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to download all the stock images I used in this photo manipulation work for this poster work. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.